Hello everybody and welcome back. Last time we walked around the school and we obtained a few new meta parts. And we also promised Erika to find the culprit behind the tickling incidents. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. But first off, the reason that I'm in the schoolyard is because I really really just want to get into one more random battle. It doesn't matter against who, though if the missing meta metabot happens to appear, that would be nice. So let's quickly get into one more fight. And of course, it's another Kintaro. So as I stated previously, I will, I will simply skip this. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. So you may recall last time that I mentioned that I was going to do a little bit of grinding. And I did, in fact. We're now at level 10. it transforms into a new shape. So yeah, as you saw, as soon as we reach level 10, both the Kabuto and Kuwagara medals will change form. But that's not all, we have also unlocked our first Metaforce. Let's go over the Kabuto medal first. So the first Metaforce ability that we unlock is called Ultra Shot. It requires 80 Metaforce, meaning a full gauge. It has the Aim Shot skill, meaning that if you perform it, you will get a skill point for the Aim Shot attribute. And it works as a single target attack with chain damage, and it, the damage dealt is equal to the sum of all of the shoot and aim shot parts that you have equipped. Basically, you take all their individual power values and then sum it up. Anyways, on to Rokusho's new ability. So Rokusho's new ability is called Spiral Bolt. It also requires a full Metaforce gauge and it has a Berserk attribute. And it is a single target attack that deals equal damage to all enemy meta parts, meaning that it will focus on one enemy, but it will attack all meta parts by dealing equal damage. So we'll get a chance to actually see this in combat quite soon, but for now let's actually leave the school. Eee! That's salty, but who was that other voice? Is this your dog? Wow, cute. Um, I mean, was my dog bothering you? Not at all. He suddenly came running out and I was just surprised. Oh, is that all? Thank goodness. Um... Nice to meet you. My name is Karen. Wow, Karen. Um, I'm Iggy Tenryo. By the way, did you see a boy from the next town over whose name was Koji? I... I didn't see him. I see. Please tell me if you do see him. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. That's one really polite girl. I wonder if, she is, if she's from the t next town over. Otherwise, everyone will be talking about a cute girl like that. Anyways, so we have to find the culprit. And if we look around town, we see that we have this very old abandoned warehouse. This place looks pretty shady. Oh, Erica. Iggy! We got trouble! A meta fighter came from the neighboring town's Rosewood private school and started picking fights in our own school. He's in there now! Why? Don't ask me! Hurry and come to school! But why do I have to go? Just come! Got it? Alright, so back to school it is. You walk so slow! The meta fighter is already here! The culprit is one of you guys, isn't it? Show yourself, you coward! How dare you talk to me like that! I'll challenge you, but don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Hey boss! If we beat this guy, it's gonna be a real smack in the face to Rosewood Private School. I'm gonna mess up your clothes too, of course. I'll take you, I'll take you all on. Time to roll battle! What a scoop! My pepper cat! Hey you! Don't take only my bad side! Ha! 
Whoa, boss, we're in trouble. Metabot, retreat. Is that all you got? <laughs> what should we do, boss? Now I gotta go. <laughs> now I gotta wash my Metabot too. Men, resort to Plan B. Let's get out of here. Wait, you. Whoa, he's powerful. Is this the time to be impressed? Let's go. What? Alright, so that was Koji. Let's go ahead and chase after him. Alright, so. Before you step right next to Erika. You may want to save before because up next we have a battle that can be somewhat tough, but... You can also get a very, very useful meta part. If I don't get it, I'll just re re do this all again. But anyways. Where did the scum run off to? Um, he looks... He really looks ticked off. Go ahead. Just do it like, la like last time. Don't push me. Uh, ah! You're with them, aren't you? I'm Koji Karakuchi. Pro battle me, man to man. Alright, so here we have Koji. And I think this is the best possible chance to actually try out our new Metaphors skill. So, for the first couple of turns, I'm going to simply charge Metaphors and then we'll just use Ultra Shot. But in, and I do recommend that you do the same for if you're playing with Rokusho, but we'll go into more detail later about that. Because Koji actually has a different Metabot, depending on the version. So, speaking of his Metabot, here we have Sumilodon. So, as for the arms, well, we've seen that before, a strike and grapple arm and a berserk and grapple arm. But the more important part is the head part, shot trap. So, let's quickly go over traps. There are three different kinds of traps, but for now I just, I just want to focus on two. Shot traps and grab traps. As the name may imply, they will deal damage to an opposing metabot if it performs either a long range or a close range attack. And usually, as a way to balance the trap mechanic, different kind of traps are applicable only to specific types of metabot. For example, usually you will only find male, ben male metabots with grapple traps and female metabots with shot traps. Meaning that you can't have both kind of traps on the same metabot unless you have more than one. However, that is not the case for Sumilodon. Sumilodon, with its hunter head part, is the only metabot that can technically have both shot traps and grab traps in a single timpet, meaning that is incredibly valuable, es valuable, especially if you want to go for a metabot that has both kinds of traps, which is one I, that I will be building for this LP. So I highly recommend that you try and get shot trap, uh, the hunter part. As for anything else, well, he's two-legged, meaning that he gets the same bonus as Meta B and Rogusha. But anyways, let's quickly use our metaphors. So we go here and we select one. As, as we can see here, we can unlock two more, but for now we only have Ultra Shot. And I do highly recommend that you have that you obtain Ultra Shot before you fight Koji, because otherwise, if you try to uh, attack him normally, you will end up triggering the Shot Trap, and that could quickly wear you down, trust me. Anyways, Ultra Shot should deal about 100 damage, so maybe we can take out one more part. Almost, but did you see that? That was a ton of damage. And he only has one part left. And I actually do want to show how traps work, so I'm going to use an attack that will end up damaging me. We got 19 damage, and that was just enough to destroy our legs. So usually whenever you trigger a trap, damage is first dealt to the legs, then both arms, and then of course finally the head. So if you keep that in mind, you can sometimes avoid having the part that you're attacking with being destroyed by the trap itself. But yeah, at this point he can't really do anything. We can end up losing if we just use traps over and over, but... That's actually fine, let's just use two missiles and that should be fine. As for what I talked about previously, about how supposedly having high propulsion helps you avoid traps. I don't quite agree with that, as you saw there, the trap was disarmed. So, I believe that what that tip meant is that Basically, the way traps work is as I think they have some sort of invisible HP uh, gauge, meaning that every time you trigger it, 
Depending on how high your propulsion value, that much is deducted from the trap itself, meaning that if you have a very high propulsion value, then you may only have to trigger the trap once or twice, and then it will be disarmed. However, that is not a good strategy to use because, as you just saw, Sumilodon can just set the trap again, so I don't really recommend it. But yeah, with this we are victorious. So yeah, if I don't get Hunter here, I'll just redo this fight off screen because I really recommend that you get it. Alright, let's see what we got. And we didn't, we got Sharp Edge. Uh, I won! You're not bad. That was so boring! You just fought normally. So, she's complaining that she didn't get to see the metaphors that we use against the screws, even though we did also use the metaphors here, but whatever. Huh? I wanted to take a picture of that thing you did last time. Why is it that I win and you still end up complaining? Koji! Karen! Oh! You're Karen! Oh my! We meet again, Iki! Who's this Iki? When did you meet such a cute girl? When? Uh, well, I don't know what's going on anymore. What's happening? That is to say, the truth is, I... um... Huh? Karen! It is not necessary to ask him anything. Get away from him! But... Say it! Say it! You know who the culprit is, don't you? Who did... to Karen... they... uh... Tickled Karen, right? What did you just say? Now I got it. You're Koji, right? The reason you came to our school is to find the person who is using a metabot to tickle girls. Is that correct? Who, who the heck are you? The journalist of the future, Erika Amasake. In any case, the culprit isn't a student of our school. In fact, we are looking for the culprit ourselves. Hmm, seems I guess wrong. I'll look somewhere else then. You're Iggy, right? Next time you're going down. Iggy, sorry about all this. I have been telling Koji to stop worrying about me so much, but... Karen, let's go. Well then, let's meet again sometime. Well, one problem is over. What are you saying? We're not done looking yet. Don't you feel ashamed that you're the one who got in trouble? I don't care anymore. What's done is done. Are you kidding? Come to my house right away. I got a great idea. Here we go again. Alright, so before we go to Erika's house, let's quickly switch over to the Rokusho version, because as I mentioned before, Koji actually has a slightly different fight in that version. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, welcome back. Alright, so as I mentioned before, we're going to be using uh, Rokusho's new metaphors, so of course we're going to spend our first turn charging. Also, on the topic of how you charge metaphors, as you saw here, we can just select it here. But also, anytime you take damage, your metaphors gauge will fill up by 20. So you can take that into consideration if you are, want to perform a move but you don't have enough. But if you predict that the enemy will hit you before you, before you hit the center, then you can just do that. Anyway, on to the new enemy itself. War Bandit. Another awesome design. I have to say Koji really gets two awesome designs for his me main metabots. As for the parts themselves, both arms are nothing that we haven't seen before. An aim shoot and a shoot and a basic shoot arm, a two-legged legs, and the head part, tension up. Its ability is called boost charge. It basically, as you can see there, it creates a tiny hourglass that cuts down the charge and radiation time for that specific metabot. It's not a bad ability, however, this early on it doesn't really have that much of an effect. Unless you tend to have a metal that has a good, uh, how to say, affinity for the skill, the time skill. Because otherwise the effect will last like half a second. In this case it's actually working fairly decently for War Bandit. But even then, Boost Charge is not as rare as an ability as a Shot Trap in a male metabot. So, if I had to compare I would say that Sumilidon still gets the better head part. But of course, if you want, you can try and go for Tension Up. Anyways, here we have Spiral Bolt. In a moment. 
Alright, so that is kind of annoying. Cool animation though. It will not destroy any part, but it's a decent setup if you then use any attack that has chain damage. You can expect to take out at least two parts. Hopefully it didn't destroy. Of course it did. Because it can never be easy with Rokushu. So, for this fight, you don't really need to have Spiral Bolt. In fact, I'd say don't bother if you don't have it yet. Whereas for Sumilodon, I would say that Ultra Shot can be really, really important. Because otherwise, unless you get lucky enough and get like a headshot with a critical, which can happen, don't get me wrong, then you may end up just destroying Meta B by continuously using shoot attacks. Alright, so if I can withstand one more attack, hopefully I can destroy both arms. And then he only has boost charge, meaning that I just have to charge Meta Force again. Come on, you have 50. Yep. So now I have to charge <laughs> two times and then use a Mana Force for a measly two armor, but fine. I really do wish that there was some sort of system that would automatically give you the win if the enemy can't possibly deal any damage at this point, because War Bandit doesn't have the metaphors, so he can't really do anything to us. All he can do is use boost charge, which is pointless. Meaning that we just have to waste time using metaphors. But anyway. Enemies can still gather metaphors, even if they don't have it available to them right now. In case you're wondering why they keep doing that. Alright, there we go. And let's see what we got. Oh, tension up, look at that. Alright, so up next we have the same cutscene that we just saw, so let's quickly switch back to the Meta B version. Alright, welcome back. So Erika told us to head for her house, so let's do just that. So Erika's house is this one, the pink one. I've been waiting for you for a while. Hey Erika, what are we gonna do? Wear this. This is... a skirt? Wow, even you have a skirt, Erika? Just what do you mean by that? Just put on the skirt and walk around town. What? No way! No back talk, wear it! Or don't you care that I might get tickled? Okay, okay. I just gotta wear this, right? You got a skirt. It looks good on you. Okay, let's go. So, this is only the first of a handful of times in which the, ga the game will force you to wear women's clothing. I don't know why it does that, but it is a bit of a trend. We do look good, though. I found a cute girl. Oops. Eek! Why are you coming near me, you stupid metabot? I made a mistake. It's not a cute girl. Where did he go? Did I lose her? Stop right there! Catch me if you can! Hey! I said stop! Whee! What, what the heck are you doing? Hurry and go after him! Eek. I hear the scream come from that big building over there! Something happened again. There's no time to lose. Iki, come quickly, okay? Alright. So, once again, let's go for the shady building right here. Hmm? Someone forced their way in. I heard that a long time ago, this place used to make metabots. 
Hmm, very suspicious. Very suspicious. Another success for the Robber Robo Gang! Next time we'll find cuter girls! Oh dear, I seem to be lost again. Where in the world am I this time? Hello? Iggy? Is that you? Wow, you look very nice in a skirt. By the way, what's that over there? Those guys can only be the mischievous Robber Robo Gang! You're behind this, aren't you? Say what? Ha! Look! That's another cute girl. You know what that means. Like I'm gonna let you tickle me. Robo Robo, Robo Robo! Alright, so we have our first fight against the Robo Robo gang. In this fight, for both uh, versions, I would say just use either some machine gun or people hammer. Because the enemy here doesn't really have that high evasion. If he does manage to avoid any attack with Rokusho, then just simply change to Scout. As for the enemy itself, we have Fox Uno. So, it is pretty much, again, a mixture of a few metabots that we've seen before. Only, instead of having the Hammer uh, subset of the grapple skill, he has Sword. He has both, sword, both arms with Sword, one is Strike Grapple and the other is Berserk Grapple. And then for the head part, it has the gravity skill, which we've seen before. And then, of course, it is a two-legged metabot. So, I guess, if I were to give any recommendation for parts, I would say try and get Rapier. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Not a particularly tough enemy. Later on, it will appear as a random fight, so if you're really interested in getting a full set, you will get the chance, don't worry. And yeah, this fight is the same regardless of which version you're playing. Let's see if we can actually get a headshot and finish this quickly. Alright! Alright, so let's see what we got. We got Hakama, that, that's fine. And we got a Robo Robo Mel. You got me! Is that all you got? Do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? <laughs> I always wanted to say that line. I'm doomed! Oh! Someone's arrived! What? Someone's here? If somebody sees me like this, I'll die! I'd better go hide! We found you at last, Robo Robo Gang. Tua, people call me the Red Comet. Select Red. Ha! People call me the Blue Meteor. Select Blue. Yeah! People call me the Yellow Hanky. Select Yellow. We are the Select Trio. Robo O O. Ha ha ha! It looks like someone's giving you the beating you deserve. How convenient for us. I do so love to take credit for the hard work of others. Take him away, Select 3. Aye aye, sir. Whew! Are they gone? Oh no! I get the feeling someone was here. Whew, that was close. It would be real cool to be one of the meta fighters of justice. Behold! The meta fighter of justice, Iki, has arrived. Maybe that's too much. This skirt just isn't me. I'll go back to Erika's house to give back this skirt. Alright, so we uncovered the culprit behind the tickling incidents. But, of course, the select corpse took the credit for us. Hopefully that won't become a trend. But anyways, I think that's more than enough for now. Next time, we'll head back to Erika's house and return the skirt. See you guys then.